Hey there, how are you? Making the most out of new leads involves not letting them grow cold while waiting on someone to follow up. My name is George Daniel and in this video I will explore lead management in Dynamics 365 sales while resorting to some fetch XML to make me aware of leads not being nurtured. Whenever a new lead comes in, being very quick to follow up can make a huge difference in the future outcome and a good way to prompt salespeople to act on new leads is to notify them immediately. For that, a simple flow can be set up. This flow will trigger whenever a new row is added to the lead table and a possible action is to email the sales team. When a new row is added to leads, let's email someone. In this case, I have hard coded uh, my personal email. Let's try this out and create a new lead. Demo lead. And let's save this. Okay, I need a lead source, makes sense. And let's take a look at the flow. And it ran almost instantly. But what if the email is simply ignored or left forgotten? To look for leads that may have fallen out of the cracks I went and created a new flow that looks for leads with no activities associated. Meaning no phone calls, no emails, no meetings, nothing. And this is where Fetch XML came to the rescue. Now, for those unfamiliar with Fetch XML, it's a proprietary XML based query language to get data from Dataverse. And it can be used in a couple of ways, such as in flows or to create custom views. For this scenario, however, what I needed was an efficient way to filter leads that have not been developed, and Fetch XML gave me just that. But first, how to get the Fetch XML? Well, one way is to use Advanced Find. Select the table and with advanced find you can define the criteria and then download the fetch XML. In this example, for instance, we would add a related entity and look for uh, activities and does not contain data. With the Fetch XML in hand, you can now create a flow with a list rows action and paste the code in the respective bucket. Let's open this other flow here for unattended leads. And in this one, what you would do would be to paste the XML in the fetch XML query bucket. This would return or will return a table that you can maybe then convert to an HTML table and send it uh, in an email. Let's do just that. 
So let's look for Outlook and send email. Let's send it to me. And uh, send it. And, and uh, send it. Please. That's spelled right. Uh, and let's just drop the table here and test this out. Manually and go. Okay, the flow ran. So let me just look for that email. And there it is. Not the most good looking email, but of course you can work with this uh, table and make it look a bit better. Really cool, right? Now go on and explore on your side and let me know how it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you soon!